Oh my goodness, is it Tuesday already? Hello everybody, my name is Julia Pasqua and welcome to Lilith's Attic. It's another Tarot Card Tuesday. I'm excited, you're excited, I'm here, you're here. That means we should get started. It could be like Blue's Clues, we could do a call and response thing like, who's ready? And then I just stare at you guys. Me too! Alright, let's go! This week, we have the opposite of last week. We have the Emperor card. Da, 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 da. I think that's Star Wars. <laughs> well, Emperor Strikes Back. So the Emperor card represents masculine energy, which is the opposite of last week where we had feminine energy. This card is the opposite of the patience. This card is action, taking action, making things happen, being ready to go into battle per se. Not saying a battle's coming, but just saying you're ready. The emperor sits upon a strong throne wearing the color red, which is always a color of war or power. He has two rams on his throne which, which represent his stability. This is masculine energy about being stable, about being strong, about being ready to leap into action. He is wearing his armor underneath his robe so he's ready to jump into action at any time. As you can see behind him it's not the same kind of flourishing garden that the Empress was sitting in. It's more of a tranquil might be a nice word for it, uh, barren. <laughs> field of rocks of stability. So the emperor is all about taking action. It's all about making action. It's all about having the confidence to take that action. If read in reverse, it can mean the inability to take action. You're frozen in trying to decide what to do. You haven't taken that step forward that you need to be doing. It can also mean the toxic side of the masculine energy. It can mean abuse of power. <sighs> I think I have to harness my masculine energy. This card is all about harnessing your masculine energy. And if you know me, I don't do that often. <laughs> I have a lot of men walking into my booth saying, there's so many women, and you know, that's, that's tend to be what I draw. <laughs> so this card's definitely gonna be a challenge for me, but I am ready. We're gonna take on challenges. We're gonna take action here, and we're gonna do it. So let's go. Come on, we're gonna blues clues it. Come with me, let's go. So with my card, the first thing I did was think about Zeus. Zeus is a very powerful masculine figure in my head. He is always ready to take action. He has a very powerful masculine energy about him. He's always depicted as this very big masculine energy type figure. So my brain immediately went to Zeus. I wanted to harness this ready to leap into action at any time concept so that we are going to have Olympus up top and then the real world down below, and there's gonna be this cloud kind of dividing the two. I think this could be a really great way to divide the two sides of this card as well. The positive taking action, and then the more negative inability to take action. We're gonna have a little guy getting struck by lightning, which can resemble that he's frozen and can't take any action because he's just been hit by lightning. This can also resemble that kind of toxicity that that power can hold. If you're not paying attention, if you're starting to abuse that power, this little guy can get electrocuted, he can get struck by lightning, and he doesn't look like he's having a very good time. But up top we have Zeus. He is muscular, he is masculine, as much as my style can make something masculine because my energy is very feminine. He is throwing a lightning bolt. He is taking the action that he needs to take. He is creating this storm. I think there's a very negative connotation with storms. I really love the concept of storms and we have to have storms to catch things on fire, to flood things sometimes, to create a new environment for change. And I think that's a lot about what taking action is. It's sometimes difficult to do the hard things, to throw that lightning bolt somewhere. But the new things that come out of taking that difficult action are very important. Without sometimes a fire clearing through the dead trees, new things cannot be born. So I think that the Emperor and the Empress card do kind of go hand in hand. You have to have a balance of these two action and patience to create this abundant forest that I think represents our life, you know? You have to have the action and you have to have the patience. So I really like that the Emperor and the Empress card are so close together. I also wanted to have the clouds in both of them so that way we can also kind of weigh them as a pair of cards. I do think that these two are a good balance within each other. Oh 
All right, you guys, we did it. Another card down. I am having a really good time with these. I'm learning a lot about myself. I don't really sit with the masculine energy side of myself. A woman living a woman's life and sometimes I don't get that perspective. So being able to step into the shoes of that masculine energy perspective today has really been an eye-opening experience. I hope you guys are learning a lot as I'm learning a lot. As always, please remember down below in the description box, there is a link to a Google form. If you wanna be alerted when these cards are gonna be ready for purchase, put your name in the Google form and I will send you an email with a link when we're ready to go. Like, subscribe, do all that down there. It's all down there. And as always, thank you all for being here. Have a great week, take some action, make some moves, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys. So this resembles, this resembles, <laughs> that I think resembles our life. If I say resembles one more time. <laughs>